I'm here at Westwood Arena in Toronto to meet one of the greatest hockey legends of all time. I'll give you three clues. He played 11 seasons with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He won four Stanley Cups, and he was better known as the China Wall. A glittering save by Bauer late in the period preserves the tie. I'm here with Hall of Fame goaltender Johnny Bauer. Uh, I've been a Leafs fan since I was uh, a little kid, ever since I can remember actually, all the way back to the Punch Imlac days. And that's probably one of my questions is, how was it playing for Mr. Imlac? Well, he's, uh, he was a tough guy to play for, uh, Sandy, to be honest with you. And uh, you always uh, believe that uh, work will pays off, and it does. And you only get what you put into it, no matter what profession you choose. I love the fedora. Uh, oh, yeah. He was quite a character. <laughs> Anyways, going back a uh, little bit before uh, you started playing hockey, when you're 15 years old, you actually uh, joined the Army, the Canadian Army, and uh, you almost went to Normandy. Just but about. You ended yeah. up with arthritis. Yeah, uh, I never saw action or anything like that. But they called a lot of the guys from the unit I was in to go, oh, and apparently I, w I got sick and that and went to the hospital there for about three weeks. And I don't know, I had trouble with arthritis and, mm -hmm. the, you know, I had bad back and that. And then I got it in my hands and I still got it in my hands, but uh, I managed. Uh, I know with arthritis, uh, how'd you end up being one of the greatest goaltenders of all time? I think it's because of my teammates that I have. I mean, if I didn't have those guys in front of me uh, with players, I'd be in a lot of trouble. All right, well, I know back when you played, you didn't wear a mask and you had guys like Bobby Hall shooting at you. What was one of your worst injuries? <laughs> oh, boy, I, uh, I learned how to duck in, I'll tell you that. The guy that really drove me more than anybody off the wall was the Rocket Richard. I knew you were going to say guy that. Land, uh, Sandy, I went to church, <laughs> honest to gosh, I lit candles and said a little <laughs> prayer and everything. He must have been behind me and blew him out because he would always score a couple of goals on me and I couldn't believe it. One of the questions I have to ask is, when do you think the Leafs are going to win the Stanley Cup again? <laughs> you got to give them time, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's enough about me, Sandy. No. <laughs> About Cindy there, she's always on the ice and she's okay. very, very strict in that lake, you know, she, but she's a great teacher. Okay, so I got a couple of challenges coming up? You got a couple of good challenges <laughs> coming up, yeah. All right, well, first of all, I better give you back your Stanley Cup ring. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Look, look at this. Uh, Thank Cindy you. Uh, snuck that to me. I'm going to put that on my ear because I can't get it on my fingers. So that's I, a fantastic ring, and yeah, congratulations you. on your four Stanley Cups. Uh, thank you a lot, Sandy. Thank, thank you, Mr. Bauer. Thank you.